Over the last few years, it's become increasingly clear that we can't recycle ourselves out of our ongoing plastic problem. In fact, the current recycling system for plastics is actually one of the major contributors to plastic pollution around the world. Of the 7 billion tons of plastic waste generated globally so far, less than 10% has been recycled. Even in our localities, a huge amount of plastic waste is dumped in public instead of being recycled. This was an eye-opener for us. To deal with this problem, eight students from Tagore International School, Basant Vihar, started the project Terra Time because it was time to take care of our planet, to do our part. Terra Time decided to deal with the problem of plastic waste by reusing it to create innovative and eco-friendly eco-bricks. Eco bricks are essentially plastic bottles stuffed with even more plastic waste. Plastic bottles are made of PET or polyethylene triphthalate, which is strong but light. Our mission was to collect these plastic bottles and pack them with non-recyclable plastic waste like polythene, flimsy wrappers, etc., until there were virtually no air pockets and it became very tensile and also durable. We wanted to put these eco bricks to productive use in a school setting, and so decided to make eco brick furniture out of them. We initiated plastic waste and plastic bottle collection drives in our localities. Our team members went from door to door and introduced people to the idea of eco bricks and built eco bricks with them. We also visited different classes in our school introducing our campaign. We put up posters, held workshops, performed demonstrations and encouraged students to create eco bricks. Once we had collected sufficient plastic waste and bottles, we along with other student volunteers were able to make a huge number of eco bricks. The next step was to assemble our eco bricks to make furniture but before that we needed to brainstorm for designs and arrangement patterns that would make strong durable and usable furniture The design of our eco brick furniture is based on the Milstein modules While creating our furniture designs we stuck mainly to triangular and hexagonal shapes because of their ability to support a remarkable amount of weight No matter the amount of pressure applied to a triangle, it will absorb the pressure and remain rigid. With hexagons, the pull of surface tension in each direction makes the shape mechanically stable. Because of these unique designs, our eco brick furniture was able to withstand more than 80 kilograms of weight. The next challenge was to assemble them with a material that would be durable and eco-friendly. At first, we used plaster of Paris to hold the furniture. but it wasn't able to withstand a lot of weight after this we tried tape but quickly realized that the amount of tape required to build an eco brick stool was not sustainable finally we landed on jute ropes to tie the eco bricks together the limited stretch capacity and resistance to heat makes jute rope durable and long lasting the jute wasn't just better for the environment but also improved the aesthetic of our eco brick furniture We made a large number of these stools and set them up in our nursery and kindergarten wing. We have also contributed eco bricks to Kalma Lake Lands, an eco-friendly resort that has been making concerted efforts towards conserving the environment and going green. They are using these eco bricks to make a unique toilet entirely out of eco bricks. Terra Time collaborated with Project Sapati, a social outreach program for EWS education by our school. We visited Samarpan school and conducted a workshop to spread awareness about the initiative. We donated our eco brick furniture to the school and also guided the students as they made their own eco bricks and pledged to do their part from now onwards. Throughout our journey, we documented each step of our progress on our Instagram page to make our campaign accessible to everyone. 
In that time, would not have been able to achieve any of this without the support of our teachers, peers, and school. So here are a few words from the people who made this possible. Ma'am, so were you aware about the concept of eco bricks before? Uh, I was partially aware of the concept of eco bricks because in the early days I had heard of it and I had seen it in real life as well, but I had never given it a second thought. I'd heard about it, but I was I'd not actually seen the eco bricks. So now, after you know about Terra Time, what are your thoughts on the concept of eco bricks? Do you think more people should do them? Do you think they are viable? Bricks? It's brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Um, we just throw plastics to the kabaddi wala, but I would never have thought it could be so useful and so good. They help people. They can make houses out of it. I think it's the it's one of the very good solutions to all the waste, the plastic waste that we're generating, and we can actually you know do something and get something some good stuff and actually use it. So do you think Terra Time has impacted your life in any way? Oh yes because I've seen this in our own school your team is doing great work with creating uh, stools tables and chairs with eco bricks and I see a lot of students using them as well so it's definitely making a huge impact in my life and in the life of the students and teachers at school yes 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 yes, yes sir so could you elaborate how has yeah, it impacted yeah because i have seen in my village and some area the many plastic bottles are lying in the ponds and this water is not usable so now this plastic bottle removed from that area so it will improve the quality of the life and the quality of the environment within 3 months there a time went from a mere idea to a successful project that has made 900 eco bricks saved 300 kilograms of plastic waste assembled more than 50 pieces of furniture and most importantly touched and inspired countless more lives there a time went from a mere aspiration of attaining sdg 12 to a project that is slowly but steadily making that very sdg a reality and this is only the beginning